Hey Fixer family, it's Charmin and Brian. And on today's video, we're gonna share with you our impromptu Panama City Beach, Florida trip that we took with the family. It was tons of fun and I'm so excited to share this with you um, today. Also, if this is the first time to my channel, consider sticking around. We'd love to have you as a part of the Fixer family. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button right here and also the little bell that's right next to it because that'll notify you each time I upload a new video. So without further ado, welcome to Fixin' Hill. days to go down to Panama City Beach and um, it was a fun trip exciting we did some great things but one thing I wanted to share with you guys is on our way down there for those I'm sure you guys probably knew that last October it was October the 10th of 2018 her birthday yeah my birthday <laughs> um, Hurricane Michael um, came the eye of the hurricane came on shore on at Mexico Beach now Mexico Beach is about 25 miles southwest of Panama City and um, it was pretty much total devastation now I don't have footage like um, like today pictures of Mexico Beach but I went on to Google to Google Maps and just looked at the satellite and I'll interject that into the video but um, I, and I don't know when this Google picture was taken or whatever, but oh my gosh, just, I mean, Mexico Beach was pretty much wiped off. I mean, it was, it was pretty bad. But we started noticing that there are still, eight months later, scars in Panama City. And trees just down, um, tarps <coughs> on buildings, um, there was a, still a lot of construction going on and everything, but Panama City Beach has really started to come back alive. I think they're ready for this summer season. And um, I mean, we ultimately had a great time, but but still just continue to pray for all of those people that, that did lose pretty much everything during, during that storm. Let me mention something that's kind of crazy. Going down, <coughs> we're heading south. Yeah. Okay, the hurricane comes inland. But all the trees that we saw was leaning toward the beach. And so it's like with the winds mm -hmm. swirling and this and another, it was really weird that knowing the hurricane was coming this way, all the trees was yeah. leaning that away. It, so it, it was, was strange looking. It right. was definitely yeah. weird looking because we knew it was, you know, the storm came in this way. But that really just shows you when they talk about the backside of the hurricane, that's the, you know, the strongest point, And that's really the way the trees were laying yeah, so crazy. yeah that was crazy but all in all <laughs> it was a great trip I mean you know um down we had no rain it was um <coughs> it was a, a great trip down but once we got there <laughs> we stayed at Campers Inn down on Panama City Beach it's right across the beach if anybody's familiar with that there's a, a place down there called La Vila's which they're in remodeling Club and, La Vila. yeah Club La Vila it's right across from there um, we've stayed there before, but we have not stayed there with the, the longer rig that we have now, a 36-foot um, Jayco J-Flight. And, and if those of you, um, if you've not seen my um, tour of the Jayco J-Flight, I'll link that in the iCards above for you guys to see. But I'm going to let Brian tell you about that fun we had. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. We got there. They told us what site was on. And y'all... I've got a long truck. It's a long Dodge base. 2500 diesel that I love. And it's a long wheelbase, so it's it's long. And so with the 36 foot camper, the whole thing. Did I say long? Yeah. Yeah. It's long. It's long. <laughs> it's, long. <laughs> it's long. So we got around there to our site, and it's tight. It's crowded. Not a lot of open light. Uh, open lots. So I got around there, and the site next to us had a vehicle sitting kind of right next to our pad. Across the street was a vehicle sitting in front of their camper. So here I am trying to get in and there's not good turning radius on it and it was difficult. And then to top that off, right behind our lot, you couldn't back through it to be able to try to maneuver to get straight because it was a power pole 
some Box, boxes, yeah. guide wire. So my space was limited to get in there and then try to maneuver. I finally went across the street and knocked on the door of the camper over there and asked the lady answer the door. I asked her, could you move your truck, please? She said, sure. So she moved the truck. That helped a little bit. <laughs> Not a lot. So finally, yeah. after up and this, that, and other, I got it in there. It was a little crooked, and I'm kind of particular, so uh, I had to live with that. I wasn't real happy with that, but it was and okay. And then... We couldn't open our awning all the yeah. way because there was a tree. Palm tree. A palm tree. And right there, I mean, it was like the, I don't know. It's about six foot. I could open it up probably. Which but is, you know uh, what? It was a really good was. trip, <laughs> even with all it of that. After that, we <laughs> yeah. got set up. And got set up. And then, good. of course, my daughter and son-in-law and grandbaby got there. <gasps> hey, pumpkin! We at the beach! <laughs> we're at the beach and we wound up going to the grocery store which was an adventure and <clears throat> excuse me an adventure in itself um because that walmart is so busy i mean especially in the summertime right. crowded i mean it was just crazy but we fared that came back yeah. cooked dinner and then we also have some friends that have a permanent place down there within Campers Inn because they have permanent like um, trailer lots and then they have the RV lots and then they have cabins and they have tent um, places there. So we hung out with them that evening for a little bit. But on day two, yeah, yeah day two was, was beach day. <laughs> we basically got up and we had some yummy breakfast. I cooked outside on our outdoor kitchen on the griddle, made some eggs, awesome. and he grilled Koneka sausage, awesome bacon, sausage. and and we just we had a great breakfast. Got together, got things together, and then we headed down to the beach. And we were down there for. I don't know, for several hours. From about four to five hours. Yeah, four to five hours, you know, just spending time on the beach, enjoying it. The The waters were beautiful, um, emerald green, because, of course, Panama City, <laughs> Panama City Beach is known as the Emerald Coast, and it really was beautiful. So, hey, hey. we are the, at the beach. Look at that pretty emerald green water, the Emerald Coast. Pretty one, isn't it? Yeah. And this one right here? Well, that one's broken. I know, but it's a big piece though. Look right here. Look right here. This radio? Oh my goodness, you done found a bunch of them. Finding all kinds of shells. Look at here. Show, look, show them your shells. Okay, See? These are, shells. these are your shells that she's finding. down at the beach headed back got ready and then we went to dinner and we went to this place called and I always have to ask sea level sea level and it's spelled C level it's yeah. not S-E-A right level. It's I thought it cool. was actually S-E-A level sea level <laughs> But, but when it's we the got letter there, C. I seen it. I thought, oh. Okay. Yeah. So and it's and pretty then, cool. And they have seafood, of course, being down on the beach. But they also have steak and chicken, and they do a blackened um, fish and beef and chicken and stuff. They do blackened stuff on Friday and Saturday nights, and so it was really, really good. And um, we wow. enjoyed the food, the you know, the atmosphere. So I highly recommend that if you're down in Panama City um, to to try. Try them out. I found Summer's dinner right here. She's <laughs> gonna eat that down there. What? What? what is it? It's a crab claw. You see it down there? It's, it's a claw. I don't know. Somebody dropped it down there. 
Sure. Let me tell you a little incident that happened. Oh. <laughs> I was sitting there looking at the menu and stuff, and Sharma was messing with Harper, and her water was sitting there, and the next thing I know... I didn't know the water had been sat down. I had no idea yeah. that the water had been sat down waitress by sat the waitress. And it, My true. back was turned. It was. She turned around and hit it with her elbow when she was turning back around. <sighs> and, man, that stuff spilled all in my lap. I it was just water. It. it was just water. <laughs> But you know what? The scowl. I got a scowl on my face because I didn't like it. Because <laughs> it was cold. It was it was all over my pants. It was on my crotch. It was just, it was, yeah, I said it. But it was everywhere, and I didn't like it. So, anyway, but I quickly got the scowl off my face, and we enjoyed. <laughs> we did dinner. enjoy dinner. So. Dinner was really, really good. Um, <laughs> and uh, let's see, after dinner... Summer and Hunter and then um, Scott and Katrina, they went and went one direction and then we took Harper to get ice cream. We always go to the beach, we always have to get ice cream. Yeah. And there's a place actually right across from the campground, so we got ice cream. Um, I forgot, I think I got a mint moose tracks or something. And Do you still remember the yeah. name of the place? Uh, Hershey's. Okay. Yeah, Hershey's ice I didn't cream. Think remember that. I did. <laughs> You. Mint ch moose tracks or something like that is what I got. <laughs> he got strawberry cheesecake. Yep, strawberry cheesecake. Any of the places that we go, or whatever, I will link them down in the description box below, whether it's a Facebook um, link or their actual website. I'll make sure that I link that down below. But, um, and then after that, I think that's when we went back and hung did, out again, did, just kind of hang out with friends. Yeah, they acting goofy and, yeah. you know. I'm good at that. Mm -hmm, very much so. <laughs> and um, so, let's see, day three. Yes, oh, this Sunday. Yeah, right. yeah. Three, three, day three, yeah. Sunday, which was Father's Day. And um, we, you know, got up again, and I've made breakfast. I think we had waffles that morning, like, you, you know, big deal. But anyway, um, we made breakfast, and then we had some pool time. So today on Fixin' 2, I have a very special guest. And that special guest is, let's pull it out, Harper! I am so excited you're here with me today. So... Let me ask you, so what have you been doing this weekend? We've been on vacation. That's right. We've been on vacation. And where did you go on vacation this year? Beach. To the beach? What beach did you go on? Panama City. So what kind of things have you been doing since you've been at the beach? Playing with sand and I haven't been in the water too much. No, not the, not the ocean. We didn't go in the ocean too much. But today we're where? Where are we at today? Pool. At the pool, so you're definitely in the water today, huh? Yeah. All right. So, all right. So, where are we gonna go after we get through with the uh, pool today? We're gonna go in the boat to see dolphins. Well, thank you so much for coming on today, my special guest Harper. We had such a we're having such a good time. Yeah, and if you if you if you wanna. What? <laughs> yeah, say so don't say tell them say don't forget to click our notification. Uh yeah, well we gotta click the notification bell so that, that they can uh be notified each time we upload a video, right? And also don't forget to subscribe back to our channel. Subscribe back to our channel. And we also say hey, share this video with your friends and family. Yeah. Yeah. Say Keep looking up, because that's where it all is. Can you say that? Keep looking up. Because that's where it all is. is. And it's like, see you on the next video. See you on the next video. And that was fun. Um, just getting to go to, the, they have a really nice pool there at the campground. And we just kind of hung out at the pool for just a couple of hours. It wasn't very long, because we came back, cooked and grilled some hot dogs, and then we got cook, ready. Cook some more Koneka. Oh, yeah. We did cook more Koneka. Yeah. Yeah, Koneka sausage. If you have it where you are, 
and you've never tried it, you need to get it. It is um, sauce is just a bomb. and it's made actually in Conecuh County, Alabama. It is. So that's why Conecuh sausage. <laughs> so anyway, um, but let's see. And then when we got finished with lunch, we got ready and took the guys on a really special, awesome trip. Again, I'll link it down in the description below. But we went on the Sea Screamer boat. Now, this boat was built in Wetumpka, Alabama, my alma mater, Wetumpka High School. Go Indians. Um, <laughs> anyway, it was built in Wetumpka. It was put in 2005. It was put in the Coosa River, um, and they actually went waterways, riverways, and everything down to Panama City. Uh, it took them three days. Yeah, it took them three days to get yeah. there. Um, this was an amazing trip. It, I mean, um, excursion. excursion. Yeah. Um, it was something I had never done before and um, highly, highly recommend it. The do and it's a dolphin watch. They have the dolphin watch. They have a um, snorkeling. snorkeling boat as well. And that's a different size, different style Smaller. boat. Wasn't built in Alabama. It was built somewhere else by someone different. But um, it's still part of the Sea Screamer um, thing. It's a family. Sea Screamer owned, too is right. what it is. And it's a family owned business and uh, did some really cool things as well as the dolphins were very active. Very active. I mean, we probably saw a good 30, yeah, if, not uh, if 30, 40 dolphins, babies. Yeah. Um, we watched them herd fish and chase them. That was watch these dolphins. As they start chasing these fish, you get to see look. what a dolphin it pulls. Look, 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 look right here. Oh! oh. Look at that! Look! Oh, he's trying. He's, he was after that one. Look! Look down here! Oh my God! They played in our wake, um, jumping and stuff. So that was amazing. They're still there. They're still there. There they go. There they go. Look! to them and with the snorkeling group and us and they had water gun fights. <laughs> Big ones about yeah, the big kind that you draw, pull, it, draw up. it up and then push oh, it out man. It was it that was, was so fun. We won. Yes we did. on the back and they'll take it to spots along the beach that have the big condos and when they shoot it it echoes off the buildings. Yeah. Y'all wanna do it again? Yeah. Aye aye. <laughs> if you lost track of where we are, if you flew over these buildings, Walmart is right on the other side. Alright, go ahead. Three, two, one. Oh, nobody up there at Pineapple Willie's just had a 
fork too close to their face or might have set that thing off. And then um, on our way back um, to uh, back into port, um, they stopped and they keep a, a crab trap out there and they will pull up crabs, you know, what's ever in there. Sometimes they say it's full, sometimes it's just a couple and I think we had like four, four. Yeah. and there were three species of crab in there. So, and they show you how to hold them, you get an opportunity to hold them and everything, which I thought was really cool. Captain Cody and he was awesome. very knowledgeable it's his family that owns the business he's been basically on this boat since he was a year old um, so he's grown up in this business and he was very knowledgeable of the area the fish the I mean just it was tons of information tons of fun highly recommend you guys do that um, so after that um, basically we went back to the camper um, Hunter and Summer and Harper, they went to do some things. They went to a restaurant called Sisters of the Sea, I believe that's right, and it is a really cool place. We didn't go, um, but I have a couple pictures that I'll insert right here of Harper with mermaids. And um, she thought that that was just the best. They have a pool outside that has um, a mermaid in it. And it's a pool that you can go and swim with the mermaid. You can go, I mean, it's no cost to that. You can just go and you can swim and everything. But it, because of that, there's not a big turnover of tables. And so it takes a long time to get, especially get at, in a table outside. But inside, they have a mermaid that sits inside and takes pictures with the kids and talks with them. She was super, super nice. She couldn't really even get to the one outside because there were so many people around her. But um, Summer said that um, Harper was, her name was Bubbles, and Harper took a selfie. Here's the selfie. <laughs> and um, she, you know, talked with her and gave her a little thing of Bubbles and, you know, it was just really a cool experience for Harper. She really enjoyed it. And Summer said, Summer and Hunter said the food was good too. So, mm -hmm. so that's some, another place that you might want to try. I believe it was called Sisters of the Sea. I think that's right. But um, I'll link it down below. There you go. <laughs> so um, we went back and grilled a steak for Father's Day. We had steak, ba um, baked sweet potato, and then, of course, we had chocolate cake and ice cream for dessert. It was, it was good. It was really, really good. It was a nice evening, and then we just kind of curled up and watched some TV, and everybody came in, and it was pretty much an early night because we had had a busy couple, last couple of days. Yeah, it was so, tiresome. So. Yeah, it was an early day. And so, basically, the next morning, we could just kind of casually get up, um, had some breakfast, and then basically packed up and... Home, James. Yep. <laughs> Home, James. Oh, yeah. um, you know, yeah. we, it, we weren't... It was just real relaxed and everything. So I had a great time. Yeah, too. And it good was trip. it was a very good trip. So we enjoy sharing these with you as well. So, And if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. up. Let us know that you enjoyed it and would like to see more of it. And, you know, I, I'm excited to do that because I know I do my DIY tutorials and, you know, home decor and other fun stuff. But I also like to share these with you because this is a part of our life as well. And being able to share that with the Fixer family is awesome. So, last thing I want you guys to remember is to uh, keep looking up, 
because that's where it all is. See you on the next video. Bye.